Yo, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to install the latest build of the Pixel Experience ROM. For that you need the Pi firmware and let me just show you the about section quickly over here. Currently I am still on the Oreo firmware over here and as you can see I am on the Siberia ROM which needs the Oreo firmware not the Pi firmware. So I'm gonna be flashing the Pi firmware first and all those stuff. So let me just start it from here. So what files do you need? Let me just show you. So here I have downloaded all the files we need for flashing the latest pixel experience ROM or to even switch to the Pi firmware and flash like start flashing other different ROMs which are based on the Pi firmware for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And over here, let me just show you the ROM which I have downloaded over here earlier. This is the pixel experience CAF build of the like wired. And as you can see the build date over here is 4th of June and 2019 build of course the official one. And I have downloaded that build and the firmware you need is the latest stable firmware which is the 1031 and make sure this is the like the Indian one I think. As you can see the Android version of the firmware name shows as 9.0 not 8.1. So just download this Pi firmware from the description box below. You do not need to worry about the link. It, it will be provided in the description box below. And over here we need the like new TWRP. This is not the official TWRP, this is a totally new TWRP. The version says 3.3.1 slash 1 wired. So this is for Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now just let me like reboot to recovery and like show you. So I have successfully booted here on the official TWRP recovery for the Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is the 330-0. And over here, the first thing we need to do is go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then select Dalby cache data not internal storage, Dalby cache, data, system and vendor. These five things. Just swipe to wipe. And before proceeding anything, make sure you have a backup on your PC or something of all the files on your phone. And now let's just go to install and to, the, to that folder where you have downloaded all the things. So here are the like two things, the firmware and like we need the TWRP file too. So for that, I just tapped on the install image. So first thing, the number one thing which we need to flash here is the firmware. So right now, let me just select it. Let's just cancel this reboot after installation. Let's just flash this new firmware. So the flashing firmware procedure is done. Now go to home, go to install again. Then select this like after going to install, select this install image. And now select this new recovery. Now once you have selected that now from this here, select the recovery like flash this recovery as recovery of course and over here swipe to confirm flash once you have flashed that go to home now hit reboot now reboot to recovery swipe to reboot so we have successfully booted into the new recovery the colors looks different it's totally blue and over here as you can see the recovery version has been changed it's 331-1 right now now let's go to install again now just select this pixel experience ROM and just swipe to confirm flash. So as you just saw, I did not need to format or something. Even I'm right now flashing this CAF build. So switching from audio firmware to Pi firmware, you do not need to format your internal storage. Your storage will be totally fine. And as of right now, you can even like switch back to your audio firmware if you are really willing to. Like if you are really willing to flash any ROMs which are based on audio firmware, you can just flash the audio firmware and like official TWRP to like flash all those ROMs. Now once you are done flashing it, just tap on reboot system. So as you can see, we are greeted with the setup process. So let me just continue with the setup. I do not have a SIM card over here by the way. So we are successfully booted into the system over here as you can see. We have the pixel launcher over here to the left. We should be having the Google Now cards but it's loading. And let me just quickly go into the settings panel and show you. If I go into the settings and about phone and over here Android version. As you can see the security patch is of latest June 5th 2019 over here. And you can see the build number from here. This is the 4th June 2019 build. As you can see from the build number over here, the Redmi Note 5 Pro, it shows an official build. The stock kernel is Pixel Experience Plus kernel over here. So this is how you should flash the latest Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. 
so a lot of you guys have been asking this there you have it so if this video helped you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be trying to do a full review of this ROM pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.